Hi, Kristen here from Whiskey Tango Farms. We're back with another video to help you on your path to self-sufficiency through Katerna's quail, rabbits, gardening, and more. Today we are going to be making quail egg eggnog. Uh, we've never had a chance to make uh, eggnog with our own chicken eggs and we were going to give it a shot and I figured if we were going to do something different we're going to do it really different. So we are going to make our eggnog with quail eggs. Uh, the recipe that we're going to be using actually calls for six chicken eggs. Um, so we're going to convert that over to quail eggs and we'll see how it turns out. But I'm really excited. I was looking at the ingredient list. It sounds really good. It sounds like it's going to, um, or it looks like it's going to smell really good. It's got all of my favorite spices in it. So stay tuned. All right. So we're going to start with three cups of whole milk. Fat end. It's where the air sac is. Don't laugh at me. I saved the day. Did you I'm see not, that? I'm not laughing at you. You look like you were, you were like, oh no. I saved it. That's why you're doing this part and I'm not. I would have such a mess already. Look how pretty those yolks are. All right, and then we're going to take one cup of sugar. And then um, we're gonna add the eggs in as well. So do you know how many you have so far? Not enough. No? <laughs> are you counting? Yeah, I, I grabbed as many as I needed. And how many are we using? I'm using 20. 20? Yeah, so the recipe Call called for, for six. six chickens, yes. and we figured times that by three, and then 18 seemed like a weird number, so we just rounded up to 20. Yeah, and a couple of these are smaller quail eggs. Yeah.
she's like, I want to try some eggnog. All right, so we've got a simmer here. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not, but it's just bubbling just a little itty bitty bit. So we are going to um, what is called tempering, right? The, yep, we're going to temper the egg yolks. The egg and sugar mixture, which basically is just a fancy way of saying slowly add this hot liquid to the eggs without cooking the eggs. Egg. We're going to add it to the egg and sugar mixture. We'll just take a ladle of it. And then and we'll turn, turn the, the mixer on. Yep. So just very slowly adding that. Now I'm grabbing another ladle. So we started with um, just putting the eggs and sugar in here and then in the directions just said to slowly mix it until it turned nice and a light color. And then um, to do that like while we were bringing the milk to a simmer, the whole milk. So now that that's simmering we're just slowly adding this and you can see it's still staying liquidy like we're not getting scrambled eggs here or anything so that's good. Go a little quicker. Yeah, or you can take it just take this and put it back in here. We'll stir that while we're adding this back in. So are we about halfway? Yeah. We'll do one more. And we'll shut that off and then we can stir this. I'll let you do it. the instructions there to say oh we're supposed to add the vanilla and then constantly stir for 10 15 minutes in low heat in low heat so that was it was it um one and a half teaspoons i can't remember because it said you could add one vanilla bean which we didn't have or um i think the other option was one and a half teaspoons of um yeah okay can you hang on to this thank you tablespoon it's a half a teaspoon There's the half, and then we'll do, oh shoot, that was a half a tablespoon. No. Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay. I'm like, that seems that's like a lot. Half. Oh, is it? Yeah, three then, teaspoons is one tablespoon. Then why didn't it just say one tablespoon? One half a tablespoon? I accidentally put in a half a tablespoon. Is that the Yeah, that's the same thing as one, one and a half. half teaspoons? Yeah, it's three teaspoons per tablespoon. All right, so we're going to take our spoon and dip it, and then it said run your finger through it. Oh yeah, and see how it stays, you know, split like the Red Sea here, it doesn't go back. So I think we're good. So do I take this off heat then? Yeah, and put it in the ice bath. Ice bath. Do you have that ready to go? Yeah. Stir. Where's your stir? Let's 
Put oh. the rum and cream and the seasonings. I have the seasonings all measured out over there. Quarter cup. So that means a half. It means whatever's left in the bottle. <laughs> Whoo, buddy, does that smell strong? Holy moly. Ooh, it smells really good though. Cream. Yep, so that's one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Good. That's what I like said. Like when I make rum balls. Yeah, we should make some rum balls. We almost need a whisk. Yep. Some whisk. There you go. Brain into the rescue. Should we get more ice? Yeah, if you had some. Mm -hmm. Stash somewhere. I mean, there's lots of snow outside. We probably could just use some snow because it's not like it's touching the yeah, food. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. Some snow in here. Oh my goodness. Where'd all the snow go? This back in here, cool it off a little bit more. Wisconsin Nog. Okay, cool down the eggnog with some snow. Freshly falling out of the sky snow. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess while you're working on that, I can work on the whipped cream. Leftover cream. Not much, but it'll be just enough to top it off. Dab of sugar. A little bit of sugar to make it sweet, like Kristen. Latte is hoping to drop some. Dab the vanilla in there. A little bit of nutmeg. Did you almost there? I want to make butter. That'd be some weird tasting butter. Mm -hmm. cinnamon butter. You good on toast. Cinnamon nutmeg butter. Yeah. I don't know. Can I look it off? There's soft peaks. Let's let's go a little longer. Oil stiff peaks. It's yummy. The kids lick it. And get some glasses. Make the misses and I some nog. A dollop cream on top. Oh my goodness. Some quail egg eggnog. How's it taste? Tastes like Christmas. <laughs> nutmeg on top. All right. A little mousse. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really yummy. We did good. It's great. Nice and rummy.